I'm John Chow, and I approve the following video. <laughs> Welcome to another.com fur. We're here at sunny Orange County, California, and it's, uh, it's, it's hot. It's very hot here. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's 70, well, how, how hot is it here? Let me check the weather here. 71, 80. It's actually 82 right now. 82. It is. 82. This is the weather in California right now. 82 degrees and sunny. Tomorrow it's gonna get to 80, 84 and sunny. Monday's 81 and sunny. Tuesday, 79 and sunny. Wednesday, 75 and sunny. Thursday, 70 and sunny. I got sunshine. <laughs> all week and i want to send a shout out to my friends in vancouver because i know you guys are, are suffering a little bit because uh, i just checked the weather here and right now it's 48 and raining Aww. 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 but look, look at the bright side tomorrow at least it'll go to 54 and raining oh, I think, oh. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, look, on monday it stays at 54 and raining tuesday it goes at 52 and raining wednesday it's 52 and raining. Thursday is 52 and raining. Yes, they have. Yeah. <laughs> and people, people ask why I moved on to Orange County. <laughs> so, uh, hi guys, wish you were here. So, William, I was told that tomorrow is the end of your final 365 days of bow tie. It is the end of the world bow tie day tomorrow. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wow. So I think the world's going nice. in tomorrow because it's the last day of my blog. So you wore, you wore a bow tie for one full year. One full year. So on the, what happens the day after? Is it, are you going to still wear a bow tie or are you going to go bow tie free for at least for one day? No, no. I'll probably be wearing bow ties for a little bit. I think maybe, maybe because I'm going camping, I won't wear a bow tie every day camping. Right. But okay. probably once or twice. Well, okay, maybe I'll still wear them. <gasps> So how are we going to celebrate this final day, this spacious occasion? Well, I'm going to get as many people as I can into bow ties. All right, so that's you why know, you brought yeah. some bow ties with you then. I brought, I brought, hey. Bow I ties for everybody. Look, bow ties. We, we need to make our server wear a bow tie. You do? Yes. It's, yeah. it's a bow tie, yeah. We put a bow tie on him. Show I'll him. put a bow tie on You get a picture. Be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's great. He's going to wear a bow tie. You look good. You'll get more tips. Really? You'll get more oh, tips. Yeah. You'll wear a bow tie. you get more tips. It's proven. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we got okay. bow ties yeah, for everybody. Ties for everybody. It's, yes, but it's, um, this is exactly right not how to tie a bow tie. How not to tie a bow tie, yes. <laughs> Speaking of how not to tie a bow tie, you know, William's bow tie today doesn't seem that perfectly tied. What happened? Because it's okay to not, because that happens all the oh. time <laughs> and stuff. So I just have to stay here. Okay, William's gonna show us how to do a high bow tie. And just like this, no mirror. <laughs> But the idea of tying on bow tie is not to make them perfect. If it's perfect, then why don't you just have somebody tie it for you and be sewed in and stuff? The idea of doing a bow tie yourself is that it looks real. Very good. Like life. See? Excellent job on the bow tie. Mm -hmm. Still, Still working, working on it. Still working on it. Okay. Second All right. try. We'll come back in an hour and see how you're doing. It might take more. Why do you have to go to Oscar's getting assistance on how to tie I a bow tie. Ones, how do you uh, actually, Oscar's tie? just oh. having his bow tie tied for him. Yes, I yeah. don't know how to do this. There you go. Nor do I need to learn, I think. No, I have some more. Yeah. This is my American bow tie. I'm ready for president. <laughs> yeah, they're going to change the uh, whatever act that presented, pre prevented a non American board Thank person you. from running for president. What is that? Bow ties anyway? today if you want to come out and get your picture of <laughs> no, 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 it was, it was oh, an amendment to the Constitution. <laughs> because originally, everyone was immigrant, right? So okay, they came okay, the president. Okay, but somewhere along the way, yeah, which yeah, amendment yeah, was yeah, it that yeah, prevented any yeah, non American born person from running for president? Um, no idea. What, what? It may have been the 14th. The 14th sure. amendment? I don't think so. Though. No, the Constitution. Yeah, but which amendment? They amended the Constitution. No, yeah, but that was an amendment for non America. I think that was in the Constitution. Is I, our, I would have to look up the article. Let, let's I mean, see. Uh, everyone's living to be full, so how could they have that beginning? They, they, ha they have a, a thing about being let's born Let's see if Siri can help. A little ask Siri. Why can't non-Americans run for president? Uh, we'll bleed out. Bleed out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You have to be a natural born citizen. Uh, yeah, you have to be a You have to be a natural born citizen. Checking on that now. Or you had to be a resident of the United States after 17 something. Yes, please. Thank you. Do search. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna search the web now. 
<laughs> yeah, why can't non American rent for president? He's gonna find me that answer right now. Oh, you know? and the first the first one is by dance.net. Okay. Okay. All right. And it's and and it was not didn't give the answer. It, it, it asked a question: Should non-American born politician be allowed to run for president? Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Say what it's amendment hot. requires it's citizenship? To ah. Be okay. Found the answer. The 12th amendment of the Constitution prevented yeah, any non-native born said American to run for president. So. Well. So the 12th well. amendment. There you go. Or okay. Yeah. 12th amendment. So basically, it was the 12th amendment's fault. I cannot run for president of the United States. Blame the top amendment. But I can run for governor, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I can run for governor. There you go. And I, I read this story on, I forgot, one of the news sites. It was also mentioned in you know, Handle the Law. It's about a couple in China. And they had a baby. And, you know, it's a good looking guy, a good looking girl. But when a husband looked at a baby, he, he knows that the baby, this baby girl, was quite ugly, apparently. Very ugly. And he's kind of wondering, you know, like, you know, I'm a good looking guy and she's a good looking girl. How come this so ugly? <laughs> and it, it, was, it wasn't because she was cheating on him, because apparently she wasn't, she wasn't cheating on him. What happened was apparently this girl had done $100,000 worth of plastic surgery. And this is in China, 100,000 US dollars of plastic surgery. So that's like a million. Chinese dollars. <laughs> it actually is. It is a million Chinese dollars. So extremely, we're talking uh, extremely expensive. But apparently she made herself, she went from, a, from apparently, uh, how Hannah described it, like she was really ugly. They showed the before and after photo, like she was a brand bagger. <laughs> That's his word, not mine. <laughs> and, but apparently, so he divorced her based on this fact because he felt like he was he was defrauded, deceived, sold a bill of goods like a bait and switch. And not only did he divorce her, he sued her for misrepresentation. <laughs> yes, he went to the Chinese court, sued her for misrepresentation, showed the judge and says, I thought this girl, you know, always looked awesome like that, but it turns out she was really ugly. <laughs> and she produced this ugly daughter. And, and well, now, we're, now she's gonna grow up ugly. And we're in China, uh, an ugly girl in China, you know, can't get any guy. So. <laughs> So, and apparently, what do you think the judge said? The judge looked at the photo going before, after photo, and he, his case was like, it was fraud. It was, I was defrauded, you know, like uh, it was a beta switch, it was fraud. And apparently, the judge agreed with him. No. And, uh, <laughs> the judge agreed with him and said, you are right. You were cheated. You were defrauded. And the judge awarded him 120,000 US dollars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, the more the story, I suppose, you know, if you, if you're a Chinese girl who recently went through hundred thousand dollars of plastic surgery, you may want to read the disclosure, the disclosure agreement for a future potential husband, unless you want to get sued. Do you need a bow tie? Oh yeah, give yeah. me a bow tie. How What's this? Do you have a book. What's the book? What book is this? It's called The Indigo Child Survival Guide by Baker. It's a you wrote a book. You wrote a book. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you definitely need to give it a plug then. Absolutely. Oh, look, we have. Oh, so that's a big bow tie. <laughs> For a little girl, a big bow tie. There you go. Oh, man. Yay. It's bow tie day. I'm just glad it's Halloween weekend and I can walk around Irvine wearing this and people don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> you hug. Look at that. Did, did you get receive a bow tie certificate? Yeah, no. A certificate of achievement. I have the award of excellence. This award recognizes William Blumberg on the accomplishment of a blogging about bow ties for 365 consecutive days from Linda Abbott. That's so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Frameable. Oh, frameable. <laughs>